pandemic postponements, this summer's North American Indigenous Games will be the first since 2017. Back then, Casey Young was just 12 years old. She was on Manitoba's canoe kayak squad and a huge fan of supporting her fellow athletes. We just like to cheer for other people in our games. Competing at those games taught Young a lesson that she's leaned on many times over the years. I feel like the most important thing that I learned was to never give up while you're racing. Even if you're last place, just keep going. In the six years since competing at her very first nag, Young graduated from high school and moved from the PA to Winnipeg on her own. Despite all that has changed in her life, there was no way she'd miss out on her final games this summer. My mom also went to NAG when she was my age, so that's like kind of inspiring me to keep doing that. And she's the one who pushed me and kept me going. My goals for this year's NAG is to try my best to win a medal and to have fun and make lifelong memories with new people. Young and her little brother, who's also a canoeer, will join more than 5,000 athletes competing on Mi'kmaq territory in Halifax starting July 15th. The games will feature 16 sports and athletes from over 750 Indigenous nations. The importance of these games is it brings the people, our culture, athletes, volunteers, and many more together and it's giving us the opportunity to showcase all our different skills and the games allow us to make memories we'll never forget.